Hey guys, Mr. 3D Hero here. In today's video for my loadout series, I'm going to be bringing you a loadout that is quite similar to a specific loadout in another game called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I'm going to have a crack at it and see if it's quite effective in Titanfall 2 compared to IW. So sit back, relax, and I do hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So the name of the loadout is called the Synaptic Loadout from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I kind of got this idea from watching a few videos of COD players using this loadout. And I noticed that the, sy the Synaptic is quite similar to the Simulacrums in Titanfall 2. And through some of the weaponry and loadouts and some of the abilities they use, I was kind of thinking some of these abilities are available in Titanfall 2. So I'm going to have a crack at it and try to make my own version of it in Titanfall 2 and see how effective it is. So let's go into the main loadout. So the class we're going to be using is Stim. Now Stim allows us to move quite quickly and I noticed that Stim is 1, quite robotic, same as the Synaptic in COD Infinite Warfare. And 2, there's a perk or ability in COD Infinite Warfare for the Synaptic that allows them to pick up momentum and basically move a bit quicker. So similar to the class here, in Titanfall 2, I kind of went with that flow as well, allow us to basically always be on the toe and always moving after death or even through just certain situations. A primary now could be generally anything you want, and the same goes for your secondary, because you can't really compare most of the weapons from COD IW to TF2. So I decided to go with the R97 for its quite high time to kill, and the secondary I decided to go with the, P uh, the P2016 for the just you know a simple pistol that allows us to you know add backup in case our main primary weapon runs out. Our boost now is one of the boosts that I've never tried before, but after trying it, I can I can tell you now it's a debatable boost and that is the phase rewind now the phase rewind is quite a common ability that's used in Call of infinite warfare and it's quite a strong ability as well as it allows you to basically get out of a situation and revert back to a certain time where you want in a bad situation so for example say you're moving from point a to point b point b you get ambushed you're just about to die you set off your ability and you basically go back to point a before that ability, well, before that certain situation occurred, you go in, you take out these people, and then you move on to point C. That's kind of how phase rewind works. But in Titanfall 2, I say it's usable, but sometimes it's debatable, as in some situations it's not really that reliable, and sometimes it really does debate on whether you'll either get the catch on people, and sometimes it doesn't even work out within your, your own favor. So, when it came out to me actually trying it now, it worked sometimes. Sometimes you're gonna have to um, try and use it in more situational um, environment. But at most times when I used it, I didn't really find it that effective. It was fun, but I, I feel I feel like it needs a bit more improvement built onto it. So the title we're gonna be using is none because this is kind of a core duty type, um, a core D loadout, and I don't believe there's any titans in core duty infinite warfare. If there is, then I'll be quite shocked and I'll probably shut my mouth right now but the pilot kit is going to be the fast regeneration and a second one is going to be the kill report you both know what these are, these are and I'm not really going to go into them but if you do want to know quick information about them fast regeneration basically means um, fast regen on our health and kill report basically allows us to know where our friendlies and enemies have died where to on the map and whether we should actually approach that area or not so basically kind of a an advanced UAV in, in a way and ordnance now is going to be frag grenades. Now frag grenades can be generally your most friendly, usable and quite debatable type ordnance. Sometimes it works and is effective, sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it's kind of a waste. I say frag grenades are kind of only great on smaller maps like Complex or Boomtown where you know a lot of enemies will be gathering up in small areas. So debatable how you want to use it. You can always use Art Grenade or Gravity Star as, you know, the ordnance. We can't really compare the ordnance from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare into Time for 2, but as an O4 for, for loadout, I recommend that you go Frag Grenades. So let's go into main gameplay. Now, the way you use this loadout is that you just want to use it as normal. You're a killer, you're a killer machine from Call of Duty that's now made a crossover into Time for 2. So in many ways, you won't be using your stim to get in up close to arm players. You want to use that stim ability to get out of situations while also healing you, but also get into situations that are um, occurring quickly. Also use it, try to flank as many players as you can. This will in many ways help your teammates with pushing up, or in many ways help your teammates with getting back onto the objective if they've been kicked off or killed um, constantly. Your primary weapon is going to be the R97 now, so the R97 is going to allow you to, in close range situation, completely melt people. And thanks to the TTK buff to this weapon, it's now quite lethal and more very deadly and situational 
in close to medium range um, fights. In longer range fights, you won't have that much advantage, but in close range to say medium range, you'll have the more advantage. And as long as you aim for the head with the weapon, it will increase the, um, the kill count and your kill time using this weapon. And generally, it will be quite overpowered. But unless you're the type of person that's still new to this, then you won't feel that overpowered. But if you are, if you if you're not um, the type of person that is say relatively new and you don't want to use the R97, by all means use any other weapon available. Because like I said, this is the weapon I chose because there wasn't really any weapons I could compare from Titanfall 2 to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. But this is one of the weapons that I feel like would be quite similar in COD Infinite, um, Infinite Warfare. Use a secondary as well as backup, but most times I won't be using it because, you know, it's quite redundant. So if you're not going to be using it, try and use it with something else. So maybe if you want to use a Titan, for example, and your Titan could be anything you want, then maybe use a Charge Rifle or the Archer. It's up to you how you want to go about using your secondary. But to me, I use the secondary only in a situation where I will need to, and if my R97 is out of ammo. Now your boost, your phase reward, the ability comes up quite quickly, so that's quite a good thing after each kill or capturing a point or such. But what you want to use is you want to use this ability only in a situation where you know you're either being hunted down, or if you're being chased by people, or if you're in a situation where it's life and death, or if you're in a situation where you know it's either fight or flight. So the way I use it is I go into an area that's heavily populated with enemies. I'll go in there, just bonsai the area, take out maybe two or three people, and then once I do get caught, I use phase reward phase rewind that would then take me back to the point of where I was before I would say um, I say about five seconds it says like five seconds or ten seconds before you went into that encounter and then either in that situation there I debate whether I should go in and fight on or whether I should just go back out and find a different route or go somewhere else so in many ways I find phase rewind useful for going into areas and you know debating whether you should you know, tackle it or not. And if you have, um, if you have a headset, you can use this quite effectively. As you can go in the area, use it, and then tell your teammates, "Oh, don't go in there because there, there are players in there that are waiting in the camp for us." But in many ways, phase rewind is very debatable because since most things are fast-paced, and since some of the weapons have very high time to kill, by the time you try to use your phase rewind, it won't always work. You have to use your phase rewind the moment you get hit, and. Most times, because the way the game works, most times when you use your face rewind, it will activate, but you will still die. And I've had it multiple times, but generally it's good, but I wouldn't say it's as great as, you know, when you see it in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. In Infinite Warfare, it seems to be more useful, more it has like a major advantage that people use it. But in Titanfall 2, I think it just needs a bit more work on it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it just feels a bit too not reactive enough. As in, like I said, the moment you use it, there's not a chance that the person is going to be able to, you know, get you. The moment you use the boost, is there a chance that the person is still going to get you the moment you exit it out. So, unless you know how effective you're going to use it, it's kind of just one of those type of boosts that you either want to play around with it more and get better and understanding it, or it's one of those boosts where you just want to try to, you know, use it another day or use it for fun. But anyways, once you have all these stuff, use your frag grenade, combining that with your um, phase rewind, to take out a whole area of people. So say for example, you're on complex, and you're playing amped hardpoint, and you're in a, there's a small room full of enemy players, and you go in there. Best thing I would do is go in there, use my phase rewind, and then come back out, use my ordnance, my frag grenade, throw that in there, cook it at least, and then hopefully I'll take out another players, and hopefully teammates will come along, help me, or I can clear up from there. And that's kind of how you want you to load out. So you want to be quick with it, you want to melt people, you use your face rewind to poke in and out areas, and then you want to use your frag grenade depending on the type of situation and depending on the type of game mode you want to use it on. But from personal usage and play around with it, it feels like a normal genre build. Generally, I feel that if you're the type of person that wants to try out the synaptic um, from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, this is the best way to go ahead with it. But my only complaint with it is the boost, and the boost is quite situational, and most times it will get you killed either way, and even when you do use it, it feels quite useless on some maps. So unless they can at least you know adjust it a bit more to make it a bit more effective in some situations, I don't see it being that great. But generally, that's really up to you how you want to play it. You can either play with it and see how you feel, or you can just leave it and you know don't bother and just use other loadouts that are available. But that's the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. 
as like I said, I'll be doing more in the nearby future as I still got quite a bit more to go through. So I will n I don't think I'll be done with this for uh, maybe up till maybe fifth until I get 50 loadouts done. So still got quite a long way to go. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like for more or leave a dislike. Then leave a comment in the comment section. Share the video if you like. And maybe subscribe as well. It really does help me out. And it really does help me out when people give me, you know, tips and comments on what, what they would like to see. So keep it up, guys. As I do hope to see you again soon. And thank you all for watching.